What's going on guys? It's your boy Fox back in the house and today is it's it's a weird it's not a weird day, but today I'm doing a first impressions of a manga and it's animated. Mainly for the fact that I didn't know it was getting its own anime. So two weekends ago I went to Books a Million like I do, bought some manga, and one of the titles that I picked up, I picked up the first two. Uh, there are currently six out that I know you can buy physically. I don't know about if there's a volume seven or anything, but I picked up a manga called uh, Val Love or Valkyrie Love for short. Now, the, the cover art on the pay, on the uh, on the first volume is just really what caught me. That's usually how I shop unless the title uh, catches my interest. So yeah, uh, I bought it. Uh, I've read the first volume. I am in the middle of the second one. But as I was thinking today, I was like, I should do a first impression. Well, I was gonna do a recommendation <clears throat> on this. It's not, I wouldn't recommend this for everybody. Um, I tend to look, I usually tend to look for titles that either entertain me or that are just not really that well known as far as I know. Cause before I saw it in Books of Million, I had, I have never heard anyone talk about this ever. But I mean, there, if you watch anime or read manga, you know how many titles get released in a single year let alone today so so it's, it's yeah so what what is Valkyrie love Valkyrie love is about a boy named Takuma uh, Takuma Akutsu now Takuma is a very scary looking individual to, due to no fault of his own it was just how he's born um, he was born with you no know, with sharp looking teeth well, sharp teeth uh, he's, he's a very big uh, person by default. He's very tall. He, you know, he's not. He doesn't work out, but he, you know, he has a build on him. So he auto, he is automatically intimidating to most normal people and to other people and to others who wouldn't be intimidated. They take it as him either like scowling at them or you know trying to pick a fight. And due to this, uh, Takuma has grown up with an innate fear of human contact. He doesn't, he doesn't want to deal with people at all. He likes being alone and he likes studying and all that. So that is our main male protagonist. Now we also have female protagonists as you can tell from the cover of the, um, if you've seen the anime, you, you can tell, you've seen the opening and if, you've, and if you've seen the cover, like I just showed you of the manga, you know we have female protagonists. There are actually uh, nine female protagonists and all that. Now. It well, um, um, now this part. <clears throat> oh, snap, sorry. This part of the video, I'm going to recommend if you haven't seen the anime or you haven't already read part of the manga, you can probably skip over this and all that if you don't want to be spoiled. But I'm gonna like the the female protagonist. These are all of them. We have we have Ichika Sa uh, Satome. They're all their last name. All of them last name is Satome. So you have Ichika, who is the oldest. You have Futaba who is the second oldest, then you have Misa, then you have Shino, then you have Isuyu, then you have Mats, uh, Matsume, then you have uh, Yakumo, and then you have Kuri. I'm gonna put pictures of them up, so you know, cause that's a lot of names, like I said, oh, and my fault. And then you have the one on the cover of volume one that is not Suki, my fault. So yeah, like I said, I'll put pictures of each one of them, so, you, cause like I said, it's a lot of names. Now, how do they come into play? Well. They are Valkyries. Yes, the same ones. Uh, well, a little bit different. Same Valkyries that you hear of in Norse mythology. You know, the Valkyries that roam over the battlefield and take the uh, brave warriors who have died in battle up to Valhalla to drink and battle to their hearts contend for the end of time and all that mess. But one day while um, uh, Takuma is out, you know, doing just walking or whatever he was doing that day. Uh, the city gets attacked by a monster from the Bifrost. That's one of the worlds in Norse mythology. You have Bifrost, Midgard, and Asgard. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not really too that efficient on Norse mythology, but I think that's right. But anywho, it gets attacked, and in the middle of this attack, um, Odin talks to to uh, to Kuma. He's like, "Look, I'm going to give you the power to save your world because in the, in the next few days it's going to be destroyed." And that's where he that's where he introduces to uh, Takuma the nine sisters that I just uh, told you about. And the way it works is 
uh, if you if you if you know anime and video games and all that and some and even some mobile games the more that these girls love you the stronger that they are now each one of these girls uh, represents a different weapon. The main one that we get introduced to uh, this episode and the first chapter is Natsuki. She's also the highest level of the sister. She's level 20 and when I put the pictures up you'll see the levels of the other ones. She is known, her weapon is the blade. So that's probably why, that's actually why she is the highest level because right now most of the monsters that they fight she's able to deal with, you know, not quickly but she's able to deal with them and all that so yeah that, and that's pretty much how it is now to and to uh and like i said takuma is afraid of human contact period point blank no whether no matter whether it's male or female he, just, he doesn't he does not a deal he's always been treated terribly growing up and all that so but after odin gives him the nine maidens and he tells him look help help power them up save the world good job and all that now, I don't know what's going to happen afterwards. They haven't explained that, but we're not going to go too deep in it. And they start living together. Now, they're, you know, the younger ones go to school with Takuma and the rest of them do. I don't know. They do what they do and all that. I'm not, I know. I kind of know, but I'm not going to spoil it. I've already read, like I said, I've read the first volume. I'm in the middle of the second and I saw the first episode. Now, as far as which one you should read or watch, honestly, either one. From what I've seen from the first episode of the anime, it, ta it stays very very faithful to its uh manga adaptation now also i don't know if this has a light novel adaptation most of these new titles that come out in these seasons usually had a light novel then they got a manga and then they end up with an anime so if there is a light novel uh you can let me know down in the description if you heard of this title uh before this video and all that so yeah we get introduced so yeah so you know, to uh, to Takuma's dismay, they live with him. He's 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 not having it. He's not happy. But he's so scared of just talking to people in general that he can't speak his mind. Let alone to nine beautiful uh, sisters and all that. And actually, I love each and every one of their character designs. Now Takuma, his design is it. it it's unique, but it's not the most unique that I've seen. And the same thing with the, the females, but each one, you can tell they all have their own very unique character qualities, and I like that a lot. So yeah, that is that is what it is. And like, so yeah, my recommendation is, oh, you can either watch the uh, anime, or you can read both. Honestly, I feel like, from what I've seen, I, it could I could be wrong as the, the season progresses and they, and they drop more episodes, but, but it's gonna be a 12 episode season. And from what I can tell, the first episode literally only covered the first chapter. So it, it, they're gonna go, they're gonna do up to chapter twelve. Or I, I don't know. They might try and fit more chapters into each uh, episode. But right now, um, it's a perfect, perfect rendition of the anime, actually, of the manga. And actually, the anime kind of gives a little bit better characterization to uh, Natsuki. Um, but you know, read you read or watch it, whichever one. Um, yeah, so that that is I, that is why I'm here. I recommend I recommend both the anime or the manga, whichever one is your poison, or do both. Uh, I'm going to watch the anime, but I'm still gonna buy the rest of the volumes for the um, for the manga because that's that's just me and all that. But guys, um, I'm go in the description below. I'm going to leave a link for the first three volumes. You can get them off of Amazon. Um, if you click that link and go purchase it, it does help your boy out, you know, help make the channel better. And hopefully I can do this full time and y'all can get more <laughs> content on a regular schedule, which y'all know how I am and all that. But, you know, guys, um, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, tell me some manga and uh, or anime that you would recommend to me. Um, I try to check out all the recommendations that I get from y'all, but sometimes it just takes me a little while to actually, you know, talk about it or if I don't like it then I'm just not gonna bring it up honestly but do the stuff that I normally tell you to do like comment subscribe hit the bell for notifications for when I drop my video and actually go check your notifications because YouTube has not been notifying uh, some of you that I have dropped a video and it's very frustrating because as you know this is a very small channel but but I digress do the stuff that I normally tell you to do link for the uh, for the first three volumes will be in the description. Also, um, 
the link for my Discord and all that is down there as well. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful night, day, evening, or whatever time of day or night that you are watching this. And with all that being said, it's your boy Fox.